All right, well, welcome to Glenn's Arcade. Uh, this is the 1st of August, 2018, and with that, we are going to try to stream every day, every single day for at least an hour, uh, for the entire month of August, because on the 1st of September, I gotta go back to my regular work. If I can successfully do this, uh, there'll probably be two giveaways. First off, if I can do it for 15 days, I plan to give away a copy of the Shadowfeld cons uh, Conspiracy. Now, we repeat this every single time. Oh, my cat did mess up my camera. Should have seen that. Yeah, she got it good, didn't she? All right, let me see if I can reset this. <laughs> oh, I don't need this. So uh, we're going to play some DDO today. I don't know what the second one is, but it'll probably be a Steam code or something. Those are pretty easy to get. I really have to... Oh, wait, I know we got the ratings. So, we'll also have, um, starting tomorrow, the title will include the question of the day. And as a bard, I'm interested in knowing what everybody's music is about. So, I'll mention if anybody comes in that I want to hear about your music. Surprisingly enough, I got some new music from Will Wheaton the other day. He uh, linked some some really neat stuff about uh, this retro synthwave stuff coming out of L.A. and it's it's phenomenal. So I'm starting to collect stuff by Gunship and the uh, Gunship and the Midnight on the Sunset. Since it's the song. Literally, this stuff is like the most the most uh, LA I've I've ever heard. So. That being said, let's get on with the uh, the show at hand. So we're at level 7, or I just completed all the level 4s I elite, so now we're going to start on level 5s. She's only second life, because her first life, I kind of messed up her build a little bit. I had the chance to really correct that uh, by going uh, into an ASMR life, It's nice. Uh, I think we need to go out to the... Uh, Oh, where is it? We broke hoes. I'm going to collect the level fives. We're going to do them on Elite. Hey, Thought Door. Yeah, I know I've been offline for a while other than the main ones. But that's okay. You know, like I said, I got to get back into it, you know. So 30 days, man, 30 days. Oh, I gotta 
I get my higher. I sing along, but I don't know all the lyrics to this song yet. The crow's nest is strategically placed to detect ships coming in and out of Three Barrel Cove. The sea witch is a familiar sight on the thunder sea, carrying goods of all description from island to island. Why is it not coming out the right? You can see it's been a while. I I don't have everything configured right. I should channel everything to where it's supposed to go. <laughs> Being an 80s kid from the West Bay of LA, I am a sucker for synthwave music. It's rumored to be a resting place of two toed Tobias, an ancient three barrel legend. She's my favorite band in the 80s was Tears for Fears. Comes clearer as you enter the cave. Opening in the ground for All right, well, as we go down into Legend of T Oh, a small Eberron Dragon Shard Fragment. Nice. I have been scoring a lot of those right there. The valve triggers a rush of water through the pipes, followed by the sound of a door opening. I have to say, I probably like... 60% of everything Tears for Fears put out. It's not too bad for the 80s. Most people, I'd be happy if I got a second song out of them. Tears for Fears wasn't exactly a one-hit wonder. They had three big hits, I can remember. Uh, no, four. Shout, Head Over Heels, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, and then um, blanking on it. Sowing the Seeds of Love. That's what it was. A strong current pushes against you. I think Sowing the Seas of the Love was 90s, just early 90s, like 91. I could be wrong for that. It's really hard to remember. I mean, I knew Songs from the Big Chair was early enough to be in uh, Real Genius with Val Kilmer, so... I just remember it being after Losing My Religion by R.E.M.
frustrating. I always used to miss this mushroom. I'm disappointed that it's not still one in Epics. Collectible node. It's a rock. You hear doors close ahead and behind you. You fear that you are trapped. I think I put the music player on random. I'm very, I mean, I'll listen to this song over and over again. I think this is the most annoying part of this quest, all the pop-up skeletons. It just seems to make it drag. I think maybe I'd like to see like kind of one like one 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 big mob uh, like light mob large number fight and then maybe something a little bit more challenging than Cervantes coming up. Good chance to put in a chest too. Oh he's cruelty. Oh no, ew. Yeah, there's the acid damage. Oh I forgot to get my prots. Cervantes, Rome. two toad to buy hey, drop the chest. And return to the depths. I got three stacks of acid damage on me. Or maybe I did get them. Uh, he's quickly select the mode. I want to hear shout by tears of tears anyway. Alright, just uh, reprogram this thing. Now, since I'm listening to Panasonic, why don't I go ahead and bring Panasonic out? There it is. I'm really surprised that he put that name in. I named my ju uh, blue gelatinous cube Panasonic because I have, it's my MP3 player. Oh, I forgot. I was going to switch over and grab my DSD item. Dang. Yeah, resistance is something. I didn't know. Not mob, but. He had full slash protection on. Ah, the underwater swim. I like how in the epic version they make it so you should go the other way around. Just kind of need to see it from the other way. Oh, I did get him. Yes, I know there's a there's a trap here. Blame on. Your search 
for two told to buy it. That flame right there is good for killing hirelings. Don't like your hireling? Don't call him up to the thing. It's pricing right on that flame craft. You can bake with flour. The second bell. Triggers another chain reaction, oh, that was mean. which opens the door to the rest hire, like. of the dungeon. As a Steiner loyalist, this is that Samuel Merrick I don't trust. Thirty-second Laren guards for life. Where are you going? Dang! I have to run you down, boy. Rehang me a pirate. Jack-in-the-box enemies. I would like the two taco special. A chicken sandwich and a side of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Opposite sides of the room. Oh, right. I don't have a dealy. Do I? Bolts, not darts. I'm going to have to go all the way back and get that stupid thing. Yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Lots of stuff I forgot to do this one. I've been working on Chernico, who's a monk now, and I, I got him pretty sussed. But you also got to remember, I'm, well, I'm also looking for returning daggers and well, just basically daggers, really. The red augment slot so I can make those next. And crafting wise. Ooh, perfect song. Next up, I'm going to listen to MacArthur Park by by uh, Professor Dumbledore. I mean, uh, Emperor Marcus Aurelius. No, I mean Richard Harris. Guess I could have added King Arthur, couldn't have I? One day I'm gonna have to go back and watch Camelot. He didn't actually sing in Camelot. But everybody liked him so much in Camelot, they let him sing this Jimmy Webb song. Not too sure what Jimmy Webb was on when he wrote this though. Love Jimmy Webb though. Love my Jimmy Webb. As the lever flips back, the floor opens. I haven't really been breaking stuff. I got ransacked anyway, nice. The door before you opens as if you were expected. 
the supposed urban legend. I have claimed the treasure. It's about time someone found it. I have long waited for this moment. I am sorry you are the one. The legend of Tuto Tobias was not just an urban myth. Although it is doubtful. Jeez, I can't believe how much this is worth nowadays. I remember going like, wow, we're going to do Tuto Tobias and get 5,000 XP. Someone else covered for Carther Park. To the arresting place of two toed Tobias. Well, I say it was Re Roberta Flack. Legend. She's a great singer, but this song needs pure cheese. Now, when Weird Al Yankovic turned this into Jurassic Park, it marked, I think, the second time I had trouble telling the difference between the originals, or which one was the parody. Because in all honesty, this is, this is a weird song. Not very appropriate for Three World Code, though. I need something more piratey. Like Barrett's Privateers. That'd be good. By Stan Rogers. High and Dry would be the, is the perfect one by Gordon Lightfoot. That's uh, all about like Long John Silver and whatnot. <laughs> it's great. I'm going to look for Lacerator over here. I, I do usually do. They get him? No. Blues. I had a bit of good luck this morning. I found these shirts I bought almost. Well, yeah, I bought them two months ago. I have no idea where I put them. So I woke up this morning to do laundry and found out I didn't have to. I had five perfectly clean shirts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here here locally we we lost all of our Long John Silvers. Yeah, they closed them all up. Gave me a sad because uh, I don't like fish, but they had really great chicken. I, I I like their chicken strips just about better than anything. Kind of pricey, but yeah, when you get when you get the hunger and you got the money for it. Oh, he's here. Good. I do, do enjoy the... Now, I'm at level 39, and I don't want to miss out on it. I'm going to go ahead and go straight to Ghost of a Chance. I'm not going to... I'm going to check for Chortle. I'm going to collect the uh, Explorer points. But I'd rather get the... Yeah, I remember that. Used to be the thing. And you get a... You know, Burger King had the paper crown, and Long John Silver's had the, the paper tricorn hat, too. And like, instead of a human skull, I had the crossbones and, and, and fish bones. The Lady Luck met a hurricane. Which I thought was terribly all... clever. Luck ran out. I'll admit, I, I'm easy to impress. But I really thought that was 
That was just like odd point. Chortle. I think this will take me all the way up to level eight. A small I forget how much is out here. Curiously alone in the center of the cove. That's a long song. That's got to be like one of my seven and a half. That's that's pretty long. Longer anything by Gordon Lightfoot. Only American Pie and Domino offhand I can think of it longer. Listening to Guantanamera by the Sandpipers. The current is drawn into an opening in the rock just large enough to wiggle through. A thick fog rises up from the water as voices of pirates float. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Okay. These guys are pretty susceptible to slashing. No inherent resistances, just slice them up. Uh, no. I refuse to use that one. Say Guantanamera. Guantanamera is like all the Spanish right now. Webs indicate that you are not alone. A couple of other words you pick up from Sesame Street. Although the, this guy is saying it, it's the Sandpiper, so it's, you know, it's white people. They're kind of, they were kind of a preppy band back uh, back in the 60s, but he does make a mistranslation. Public, um, Pobladeros is not poor people. It would be more akin a to breeze slips through a crack in the like wall immigrants. Before. They're not necessarily poor. Yeah, Pobladeros here. It's not. He's not saying necessarily poor people. Um, as a historian and a California historian in particular, well, you know, my my mentor is a California historian, and that word refers to, uh, you know, when California was part of Mexico, it re refers to people who came up to settle California in the mission, not necessarily because they were poor, but because they were being offered, you know, like when Americans came across uh, during, um, oh, what was that offer? The Homestead Act. They were offered free land. So, you know, in Mexico, as in America at the time, especially with farming being big, it was a really big deal to be offered free land. Yeah, yeah, I, I have bad Spanish, too. Um, my grandfather had the worst Spanish, though. You notice a lever on the back of the he used to, statue. He was a truck driver, and as a truck driver in California, he had to work with a lot of his uh, Hispanic people, and you know he tried to pick up the language. But he was also from Backwoods, Tennessee, and had a horrendous accent. Uh, his his Spanish was muy malo. He couldn't quite. You know, get the different letters and whatnot. The 
shape of a lever pokes through it. When you pull the lever, you hear the sound of a gate. Rat, you have cleared the cave of all the spiders. Now for a big change of pace, after Guantanamera by the Sandpipers, I'm going to listen to, um, what's this called? I'm blanking hard on this. It's the big song by Eminem. Lose yourself. The scrag troll sneers, then charges with the intent to kill. The scrag. One of the burning logs would make a good club. Yeah, my grandfather was a long-haul truck driver for most of his life. His last 10 years, he got a dedicated route for Chevron. I also go to the bear, uh, the Golden Bear plant every day, six days a week. hours south, two hours to load up, three hours north. Why is he always the clattering of warforge? Freaking dang chance to attack you. Oh, at least this time he dropped a chest. Nice. Yeah, see, there's that slowdown. It's puzzle time. out to you. Do not touch anything. One wrong move could kill me. Please, speak with me first. I have a good head for puzzles. My other grandfather, the one who was not a truck driver, was a machinist for TRW. But in the war, uh, he was a commando. So he knew a lot about cryptography and stuff. Yeah, that would cool. My grandfather never, he worked for a, uh, a Pacific company. He wasn't allowed to have riders. So. There were only a few times I got a ride. He drove the big old PD. Well, my grand, well, my grandfather used to did that with my father. I mean, by the time, yeah, I, by the time, well, I was 18. My grandfather had already been long retired. We did that a couple of my, you know, my dad a couple of times. See, I think I did everything right. Yeah, it's not that hard of a mission to redo if I have. It's a really great. Uh, 
electronica piece. Which one is this? It is Total Control, and it's by a Portuguese band that has the unfortunate name of Golden Shower. You have freed Barrier One. I, I wonder if they picked that intentionally. Probably, it, it, you know, it's the age of the internet. They had to know what it is. Yeah, I miss both of my grandfathers. And the funny thing about the grand, the truck driving grandfather, one of the times he took uh, my dad is uh, he had just he was he had just filled his truck and he was doing the inspection. He used to haul gasoline from the Chevron the state, from the Chevron refinery up to, to, to the through. depot and here and. He's doing the inspection and he's smoking because he, you know, he's a you know, old guy smoking with what you did. And so my dad's yelling at him to, you know, he should not be smoking while inspecting the tanker full of gas. And my grandfather kept yelling back at him, it's full. It's full. And my grandfather knew about the ignition temperatures of, of everything and so... My dad really kept complaining, and so my grandfather took his cigarette and threw it into the absolutely full tanker full of gasoline, and since there were no vapors, nothing happened. But my dad was like booking it, and my grandfather said he'd never laughed so hard in his life. Just, you know, there's no vapor, so... Liquid gasoline has a much higher flash point than a cigarette, so. Oh, Lord. Friends in our family, my dad was fairly gullible at that age. I was. My nephew, Jordan, he is. We think we know more than we do. So we're, of course, proven wrong. But then we never forget it. Give us that. I guess I'll keep it. I don't really need dwarven axes. I'll check to see how much I've got, though. Camera physics. Learned that we learned. I learned that in, in physics. We were we were doing uh, principles of uh, states of matter. That's what we were doing. Because we were uh, studying the physics of the of change of state formulas, kind of crosses over with Cam. Oh yes, I want to go to the marketplace. I need. I want to go to the harbor and level up. She's being on a second life. It seems so easy level up. I've been playing Chernico quite a bit. It's all like, yeah, I gotta get to 3.8 million. Uh, Bart, I mean, Bart. There he is. Boy, do I want to take the the falconer stuff? There are guys the seventeen I need for everything. I wonder how much I can pull and wisdom. Or should I just focus on strength? That falconer thing's tripping me out. How many points do I need? 
12 probably. Uh, my high school science teacher in two years will have to retire from his second school with a 20, another 25 year pension. He will literally have been teaching high school physics for 50 years in two different districts. He's crazy. A12, and I'm not going to spend any more on ASMR. i got all this to go through. I think I'll go ahead and just take it. I'll take it in strength. about that, huh? Oh, well, I can always go, I don't know. This is not going to help me. This is not going to help me. And I still need to spin points in that to get up there. need another hireling. I want to do Necro 1, but I can't do Burning because I don't have One more Geely. I wonder how many Astral Shards a higher on the costs. I need to sign out over and get Larry over off of Sergey anyway. Well, Sergey won't be able to do that in this life. He'll need one of the two. I'm level 8, I should just do a full run of 3 Girl Cove. The crow's nest is strategically placed to detect sure why this chest is always open or over here, but code. hey, free stuff. The sea witch is a familiar sight on the fungus. I have no idea why. Carrying goods of all description from island to island. On uh, Sergei's last life, boy, he was. Every time I came out here, that stupid Minotaur was here. Everybody else, nope, nope, no, don't, don't want to do it. Yeah, I had a. I took um, from my science teacher, I took um. 
the math heavy physics and I was a slacker and I totally like blew that so I got like a D and then I transferred into the applied ones where it was like more labs and stuff and I got an A in that and then since it's a year course I took the first half of the hands on the lab course and got an A on it and then because I wanted to participate in the, in the science fair again I took the math heavy course and got an A in that so I got like a D A A A it's still not my strangest report card that would have to be my biology one We had a really cool biology teacher. Uh, he was also the soccer coach. But he, he, unlike a lot of science teachers who are coaches, he actually his degree was actually in biology. So he just happened to know a lot about soccer. I'm not saying he was a good soccer coach, but our team, uh, he was there as the soccer coach for eight years, and we won the Valley Championship seven times. Uh, but the thing was, is that when I was doing, you know, when I was in his class, you know, we had a bunch of, you know, it was a pretty preppy class. And so for the final, he said, well, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to grade on a curve. I'm going to put the highest score up here, and that will be the new highest score, and then we'll grade off of that. So... But I had a reputation of being a good test taker and a fast one. So needless to say, uh, I take my, my, my biology final, and I'm the first person to die, you know, by a long shot. I mean, you know, I'm really good with science. I pay attention. You know, I don't sleep. I don't think about cheerleading. I didn't talk about, like my friends. So, you know, I take my test, and I get it done, and everybody's, like, only halfway through. And so I turn it in, and he starts grading it. And he's asked me to stay. And then so he gives me a head, you know, he gives me a shake of the head. Let's me see the grade. As he's walking up to the chalkboard to put it up there, I'm moving to the door because, yeah, because, well, this is going to be bad. Because, so I get to the door and he writes it up and, you know, it's out of 100 and, the, and my grade, the first grade up was 96. There, there is no curve. At this point, and everybody, you could, everybody just went, you just hear everybody just gasp or sigh in ex, uh, exasperation or whatnot. And I hated everybody. So I, you know, I'm at the door and I flip everybody the bird with, see ya! Just ran out of there. Well, Mr. Sardo is a little bit nicer to the class. He found a way to make sure that everybody kind of knew how lucky they were, and I got full marks. So what he did was he took the next highest grade, which was like 62. It was it was bad. It was 62. And while it would have been good to embarrass everybody, I think I like the fact that after all these years, I still have proof that I did this. Because um, rather than failing everybody, you know, 62 is the new highest grade. But he couldn't not give me credit for everything I did. So I got like 35 points worth of final extra credit. So my report, and I was a slacker. My report card literally reads for biology, first quarter C, second quarter C, final grade A. And it's, I've had, pe I've had people see my transcript and think I faked it. And then I tell him the story. I went, okay, well, that makes sense. But, yeah. So, yeah. 32, 32, 35, something like that. Points of 20% of, of my grade per point. Are... So, you figure my final, my final grade is 20%. It's bumped up by a full 50%. When it's added into that. So, yeah. It is literally the weirdest thing you'll ever see on a high school transcript, I would think. I think. Oh, 
Oh yeah, when you see it, it looks. That doesn't make sense. You had a C, then you had a C, and then your final grade was an A, though. How does how does that work? Now, let me tell you a story about a bunch of jerks in my class and One a curve that wasn't outpost. the straightest the curve you'll ever see. Black lock now lies in ruins. I think the only thing, the only grade that I have that's as strange as that was in college. The ancient bell. The peak um, of this tower still I do have a verified class where I scored 109%. I did all the assignments perfectly, did all the tests perfectly, did all the extra credit perfectly. I did the extra credit because it was geography, and for me it was A, easy, B, fun, and C. Really, just want to stick it to the rest of the class. And like, Come on, doesn't everybody have 30 years of National Geographic behind them before entering this class? What, no? Oh, that's my other high school victory against an English teacher. Oh, so my senior year, I had to take one half a semester of English because I wasn't, I wasn't gonna take any more English classes. I don't care about college standards. I, I didn't care about having to take college classes. I was not going to take any more high school English because I hated all the English teachers. So the first part of it is the first time it comes up to me and I, I write my, my term paper. He fails me because I, first off, he's gotten a ridiculous for high school grading curve. And the second thing is he marked down, took off one point for every time I misspelled maneuver. Problem was, is at the time, the only dictionary I had was an Oxford dictionary from England. If you know anything about that, you'll know that they spell maneuver a little bit differently than Americans do in formal language. They use the OE ligature sometimes. And it was an old, old dictionary, but it was the only one we had. So he marks them all wrong, and then I come back the next day with my Oxford English Dictionary and went, these are not wrong. You know, we, I was like, well, you know, we use American English in this class. I'm like, this is my only dictionary. Don't be a dick. Come on. I didn't say don't be a dick, but, I mean, I was, you know, it's really mean to punish me for using the only dictionary I got. So he regrades it and gives me a C. Oh, yeah. So I went from an F to a C, and then he still gives me a C because he does not believe my sources. I did it on, on stealth technology, because it's the late 80s and it was a big thing. But from one of my uh, resources, I used a video game manual called Project Stealth Fighter. But the problem is, this Project Stealth Fighter was developed by Sid Meier and Wild Bill Steely, who are write very detailed manuals. And Bill Steely, of course, was an actual fighter pilot. So I come back the next day with the video game manual and he's expecting like, hey, look, you know, like, you know, three pages and whatnot. The Instead, I give him this, ton the, this the first of house 200 page manual Gelt that's like got all this technical stuff, has a full blown bibliography, has like an intro by Tom Clancy, has Bill Steely's own observations you know, as an Air Force pilot, which is the part I used. And I'm like, hey, really, you don't think this was an appropriate resource? And yeah, I, I, he would not give me an A. And no matter what I could do, he would not give me an A, but I did get a B plus on my term paper. And if you knew this jerk, you understand. That was, that was a huge victory. I, I literally went from an F to a B plus. He was just, he was just worthless. He's one of those high school teachers that always wanted to teach college, but could never, yeah, he, ne he always wanted to teach college, but, you know, never could get a position. And then he had too much time invested in the pension plan and stuck it out as a time-serving you know, time SOB. Oh, if I'm going to go 
get this, I'm gonna have to take this off. Yeah, he was. He ran the Kiwanis Club and all the preppy stuff. He was, yeah. Cool, cool. The most well I don't need to actually grab it. In three barrel cool is within yeah, sometimes rest. you get stuck and then you run out of breath and you die. That's why I took off my heavy armor. Something around here went bleep bloop. Bleep bloop. Oh, I forgot I reset my camera. Oh. I will have to write a thank you note. Oh, camera. Right. That's what I was doing beforehand. So I got this bar right here. because I reset my computer this morning and that always, yeah, that always messes up my camera setting. I'll bet you the Well, it's a little bit better, but why? I'm not too sure why it's it never used to have the bar that high. Hmm. I have to play around with it. Some people don't. Some people, the high school thing is just easy. It never was for me. Um, if I had straight A's, I was, well, brainiac. And people would make fun of me. And if I didn't have it, it didn't matter. People still don't like me. Four cases of an unknown beverage. So my senior year, I decided I don't care. It doesn't work either way. In my senior year, I actually got a couple of friends that, you know, makes a difference when you actually show up and it's not all bad. I, I couldn't stand my sophomore and junior year. My freshman year wasn't that bad. My junior year was my, my worst. Both of my, you know, one of my friends had graduated, and the other one had moved on to occupational training, so he was never on campus.
Well, Thakar, I do have some news for you. And I'll send that to you in a private message here. Just, let me get to this thing. I'll type it out. I don't want to say it on a stream I'm going to keep. Not because it's bad. It's actually good news, but it's also not really, doesn't apply to my stream, so why would I do that? This mine right. has not been worse do since now. the pirates first claimed the coal. It now serves to separate pirate from peasant. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's good news. Murder all the creatures. I want something more done with these kobolds, too. There are definitely two kobolds I think need a bigger presence. One is Admiral Ank Ankbar here. And the other one is um, Arboth and Ataraxia. I would like quests based on them. Sure. These brown kobolds were able to fortify this lagoon Mostly because the real pirates simply ignored them. Wow, look at them all just swarming. Right into my cleave. It is a great cleave. I think it Admiral Ankbar though. They need a quest with Ad Admiral Ankbar. Bar here where he, he he has a trap. Come on. It's an elaborate ruse. Joan Osborne. I always got her confused with Paula Cole. They both only had one hit. Well, I always thought Joan Osborne wrote both of them. Sorry, Paula. Generic mid 90s girl rock folk singers. That's fine. I, like I said, it's it's cool now. Sometimes I, you know, I think like I said, I, I've known, seen you on my streams and on on batches streams and everything. And I, 
you know, the only other thing I can think of is that, you know, maybe you kind of had a non sequitur and nobody understood it. And she's got a couple of mods who I don't, I don't know how to put it. Maybe, I don't know who did it. You know, there are a couple of them from England and maybe they thought it meant something else. You know, dialects, they're hard. Not everyone can also dabble in, in semantics like me. Yeah, well, if it's something like that, though, you know. Cutlass you've got to watch. You've got to watch the streamer. You've got to know them whether or not they're going to be into that. And I can assure you that McVegan Pants is not interested in any kind of flirty type things, I guess. So. Just, you now talk shop, you know? Whatever topic she brings up, talk about that. Okay, I'm misunderstanding something here. Doing, eh, I'm not gonna ban anybody for a misunderstanding or anything. But you know, like I said, just online etiquette. You know, it used to be my thing. I used to help manage a, an old IRC channel based on Babylon Five called, ironically enough, Babylon Five. And uh, you know, that was kind of my role. It was like I was. It was the mediator. It was... I also did the late night talk show, which is the reason why you'll find me making way too many David Letterman references. Okay, so we're on the boat. The West Wind's mistress has terrorized the air shipping lane. Between Corvair and Stormridge for nearly two decades. But like I said, you know, misunderstandings happen. It's just what it is. We get mad over a misunderstanding. You know, could just be a quick trigger finger, too. All those kind of things. I don't have any mods. I got to do it myself. Not no problem. Like I said, you know, you've been pretty respectful on all the the channels I've seen, I figured it had to have been either a misunderstanding or a misclick, really. And if it was something else, you know, then it'll, you know, don't do it again. <laughs> Everybody deserves a second chance. If it was legitimate, I don't think it was, but I also wasn't there. Why wasn't I there? Oh, I was in Vegas that day. Right, that's what it was. I was in Vegas. You were talking about that. You, when I got back, I was in Vegas. Where was I on Monday? I'll show you where I was on at. I was at Sam's Town. That's where I was. Woo! Uh, at least it's not as bad as the last time I missed a day that was important. I love this song. Reuben James by Kenny Rogers. Back before country you only became you became about three topics. Uh, 
uh, Toby Keith years did more damage to country music than anything else before or since. Now, one or two songs, Toby Keith songs are fine, but an entire career of it. And that's why Jefferson Airplane didn't last long. You can't base your entire musical career on like one topic. Yeah, you know, and that type of thing. Well, vegan, you are talking smart. I. I personally don't see a problem with that. I'm not sure it's... I can see how it'd be a little bit, it could be misconstrued, like you're trying to say that she's a smart aleck, but I don't think that's what you mean by that phrase that way. It's not, that's not the conclusion I would draw, but like I said, I am, I have a crazy vocabulary. I use words where people are like, what do you think I am, a dictionary? I intentionally go out of my way to bring back words that people no longer use anymore. Like while I, I, go, I, I go out regularly into the harbor just to do uh, memories of an illusionary larceneer just because I like the NPC name Calamy because it literally means liar. Or a lie. Calamy means a lie. Well, just don't, don't think of them. Don't think of it this way. Just, it's just a streamer. It's just nerve. We're all just personalities. You know. I'm wry, sardonic, self-depreciating. You know, that's that's just me. I, you know, I don't think anything I do is absolutely amazing, except play a bard. You know, that, that's like my great trick in life is playing playing a bard really well badly. Um. I love going into raids and running around doing nothing except when everybody else is on task, who are, who are given a task, start to fumble the thing. And then I save everybody because I'm all into like, prior to being into DPS, I'm all about buffs and survivability and whatnot. I think I have at one point on Alice Thane saved every raid in this game except for Riding Out the Storm and the new ones. No, I saved a uh, Strahd. I didn't save a Strahd. Well, if you like, you know, if you like watching the games and watching the show, then just be happy watching the game and watching the show. What did I miss? Because here's Captain Destin's. I missed something. Any hoping to pass better curry their favor or take the long road around. I know what I missed. I missed the new Bat Black Lock. I missed the new black lock. I forget about that. You gotta go up to this side.
Oh, that was funny. He came that way. That was weird. Whoa, everybody. And their dog, too. We're gonna get you and your little dog, Toto, too. the jump jump. In sounds of spring and winter storms on autumn gales on summer morns like broken dreams. Sorry, I have to sing that line. Gordon Life was the absolute master of singing lists. Oh yeah, she's a DDO. Well, yeah, and I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about my problems with a parent. Appearances is the wrong word. I have so many words to choose from. Sometimes I lose them. Um, For me, the problem is, is when I first started streaming, my initial reaction was to stream from my own channel and host on the main. And I was told by another streamer who I think it's involved in other people's problems a little bit too much, and it's not McVee, she's fine. It's somebody completely different. And that probably was not an optimal idea. So I don't do it. And then now everybody is promoting their own streams and hosting on the mains. And I don't see that they come up because a host doesn't get the notification and I am so much I try. I usually fail, but I try. After this, we will go do the hot quest, the scoundrels run. No, the other one. Prove your worth. There we go. I forgot you guys swim toward this or come up to this cliff. Now there we go. This massive arch I always like to do one run in an uh, explorer zone, get that first time. Big money super match. I would love to play my music over the main channel, but I would get banned so quick. Most of it's put out by Warner, so, you know, they're like, oh, no, copyright, didn't pay us, or don't care how much you promote it. Yes, you're worrying about my channel with a grand total of four viewers. I'm sure you're losing all the monies. Because if I was actually able to stream some, I probably would not have four viewers. I mean... It's hard growing up and being in high school in the 80s while being a fan of Canadian folk music. Oh, stupid Windows error. I gotta figure out. I gotta get that, download that 
program that tracks it. And I find out what's killing my, or yeah, killing my focus. A small building stands curiously alone in the center of the cove. Trial will be treacherous. Be aware of every step you take. Now watch the amazing delay. There are too many things to break in this. I am not going to do it. I'd cleave and great cleave, I would do it. Defenders. This is sure to be the first of many surprises. I guess we use sound to boost it. Yay! I just got Iron Defender Murderer. Okay. I did not I did not activate the boom. I had the cabinet. Seriously? I guess that's all you got. I'm, you, you're getting replaced soon. Well, I, I, need, I need heal, not your serious wounds. I can spot it, but I'm pretty sure I can't search it. Yeah. It would have been nice to get the extra chest. An intricate system of ladders leads up the shaft. Agility and physical endurance will be paramount in overcoming no, it's the bubble this belt. challenge. I had a bubble belt. Oh, I gotta use that. I have heard a diff. In the last two months, I have heard a diff. I don't know what a diff is. A little hard to watch the chat right now too. I'm doing the climb. Oh, I've gotten pretty good at this. Oh. I think after this, I'm going to take a break for some dinner. I got to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. I really hate the fact that Gussie Moose was talking about Jackie Fried Chicken. Well, I probably should not have fast food fried chicken because it would be very, very bad for me. There's that little voice in me that says, you don't care. I try not to listen to that. I'm not too sure it's my friend. Your muscles are warm and the ascent of your yeah. vented stench of sewer fills your Maybe nostrils. Maybe pork chops is about the best I can get the steak, and they're not thought out. So. Yeah, I should have gone to Aldi, but I could probably afford steak from Aldi. You survived the war-forged ambush. Now the constructs cease to exist. You know, one thing I have noticed about uh, from other DDO streamers is they don't, they're not as methodical as I am at collecting the collectibles. The floor and then they complain the about how camp crafting is so hard. I mean, at least collect the collectibles that are on the way. On the way.
I would like to be able to make more for other people, but I am running low on a certain of collectibles because, in all honesty, I have used a lot the myself. Floor and the ceiling. Only your I, I used a lot during my big project to get over to Argon SM2. All right, let me organize. I keep messing this one up. It's one, two. No, it's two, two, one. Pulling this lever fires a dark high above, leading you to believe ah, you got it right. trigger mechanism. The other components in the room return to their initial state. This appears to be a reset mechanism. The challenge was no yes. for your sharp wit. The uh, collectible should be right up here, right? Or are they moved this one. Oh, there it is. That one's a little hard to get because of the uh, camera angle. Oh, it's not the compl it's not the complaining. It's It's the lack of open-mindedness that bothers me more so. I mean, the, the paladin on, on Twitter is kind of starting to do that now, and, and I think she's coming around. You know, it's not, a you know, like, wave of heat washes after a while, grinding... Dracum's inferno will take precision and cunning to overcome. Grinding gear for your next life. It's going to get old. It just is. It just... Because it's like, okay, I need only paladin gear and that ain't my style. I want to grab and go. I want it quick. Yeah, I did not get my prots. Great. I have to be a little bit careful here. Could have been bad. Could have been really bad. You have weathered Rackham's inferno. A few burns and sweat coat your skin. I remember when there used to be a chest that would sometimes run him randomly spawn here. You'd go right here and there'd be a chest. I also missed the extra red name in Cobalt's new ringleader. Penzance, first mate of the ill fate, motions for you to come over and speak with him. I know it's double the share of a crewmate because of Sid Meier's Pirates in 1987. Initially, the captain would receive a double the share of a, of, of a crewmate, and then, as more successful as he was, then the, and the more of his own money he put back into it, he would get. Ooh, Meeble's a demon soul. I'll make the me Meeble walk you and flank them. Survive the ghouls of Rackham. Oh yeah. Oh. Meeble versus. Okay, I actually meant to like leave, but that's fine. Well, 
Well, thank you. I appreciate it. A small building stands curious oh, okay. in the center of the cove. Well, if that is five, I might come back on around seven. I gotta get me something to eat though. I can feel the stomach pain. So I'm gonna call it for right now. And I hope to see more and more people on. Tell your friends off you are. I'm glad I was able to suss that out for you. And uh, we'll see you later. See everybody else later too. What did I just do? I did this guy up here. And with that, it's time to sign off. No problem. Peace and good questing. Glad to see everything's working on the main thing. Later.